Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shard Lancaster Bourne, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update. Now, today we're going to be focusing on Dollywood. Now this is on some brand new news on Lightning Rod. So, we knew something was happening to it. I've already done an update in the past. We knew something was happening to the ride. However, we now officially know what is going down. So I'm going to talk about all of that, talk about my thoughts on it, specific details as to what's happening, uh, and also share some other updates. Because, of course, in the last week, well, a week ago, it was confirmed that Mystery Mine was going to get some track updates. So we're going to talk about that as well in this video. Uh, so we can recap over the last week of updates from Dollywood with Mystery Mine and with Lightning Rod. Uh, so we've got some updates about that. Not much to talk about with Mystery Mine, just sharing my thoughts a little bit on what's been done and I'll share exactly what's happening. So before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well guys, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we are over half a million views off so we are uh, under half a million away from the 1 million views in total which is unbelievable we've got so much stuff coming onto this channel in the next few months um, loads of stuff that's going to be coming on uh, we're going to be um, setting up hopefully a website hopefully in the next couple of months um, so you guys can check for yourselves about the channel and you know allow viewers to you know subscribe even more through the website and um, hopefully paid memberships next year hopefully some monetization hopefully and you know a lot of stuff's gonna be coming onto the channel next year so fingers crossed it should be a good year next year so it's worth subscribing to guys and for now let's have a look at the details surrounding both lightning rod and also the little update on mystery mine about what's going on with both coasters at Dollywood. So first of all, let's just start off quickly with Mystery Mine. So Mystery Mine will be having some track work done to the Helix area after the trestle section of the ride, shortly after the car's first venture outside following the first lift deal. Additional work is also slated to be done to the structure of the trestle bridge to allow it to be rethemed. It should be noted that virtually all theming on the trestle bridge was removed earlier this year after a piece of theming fell and struck a guest. So uh, that's all gone. That's all being replaced uh, with brand new theming and some track work done to the Helix area. Now, Lightning Rod. The transformation has been officially announced and it's begun as well. Now, RMC Cruise, according to Behind the Thrills on Twitter, on their pictures on Twitter, you can go and check them out yourselves. But with RMC Cruise on site, beginning the process of replacing sections of coaster track with the new brown RMC iBox track. It's like, it's like black brown kind of thing. It's like a really dark brown color. Uh, now, according to what has been confirmed by Dollywood's Pete Owens, about what 2,160 feet of track on Lightning Roll will be replaced with the new iBox hybrid coaster style track when it reopens in 2021. So for those doing the math, Lightning Rod is listed as being 3,800 feet long. So they're replacing about 57% of the ride's track. If we guess that they're likely to replace the existing brake run and station track, which is estimated to be about 400 feet in length, uh, then you can see the percentage of conversion of the remaining layout actually rises to about 63.5%. If they opt to keep the top of track, on the track from the station to the top of the launch hill then adds up to another 400 feet of track which raised the possible conversion to about 72% of the layout from the top of the hill to the start of the brake run to be replaced. Now of course it was only a week ago that Dollywood first announced what was going to be done. Now it will be the combination of top of track and iBox track with some new sections of iBox track used to make the coaster more reliable and improve maintenance issues going forward. The layout will remain the same with no changes and the last part is interesting given that some of the land was near the ride's finale was just cleared. Perhaps maybe the layout will remain the same, maybe they feel the track support system needs to be changed in certain spots. So it's definitely a very interesting situation with what's going down uh, with both uh, Lightning Rod and Mystery Mine. So there we go, that is looking at the changes from Mystery Mine and Lightning Rod. Now first of all, talk about Mystery Mine. Um, I like they're doing some track work on the Helix area. Some reviews say that that was quite rough in places. Uh, so it's nice to see them put some work doing there. Uh, some theming work done as well, obviously. Some, a piece of theming fell and struck a guest uh, from the bridge. So they're gonna you know, replace all of that with some new theming, hopefully. So. Uh, it's going to be uh, good stuff from Mystery Mind. So overall with the Mystery Mind stuff, quickly, 
um, I think that's some good work. And it's nice to see them keeping updating with the Ghost Light Euro Fighter. Now, the main part of the video, all about Lightning Rod. Now, like we said, that is what's happening. So it could rise up to about 72-73% of track being replaced uh, if you include certain sections. Um, obviously, we heard some stuff about land clearing. Obviously, you know the layout's not going to change now. So, you know, what was that for? You know, is that just going to be extra track storage or what? But the fact that still over half of the track is being replaced with the new iBox track, um, and it's going to make the ride more reliable. I think this is Dollywood's last resort, and I think that loads of other people think that this is Dollywood's last resort. Um, I think that if this doesn't work and over the next two three years four years even they keep having maintenance problems they keep having to close the ride down it's not going to take long before we have the first rmc closure in the world and the first rmc removal in the world because i reckon dollywood can do so much better than an inconsistent um, unreliable RMC which is weird to say because RMCs are usually one of the best innovative roller coasters in modern day but when you've got one that's inconsistent unreliable how long would it be especially with these changes don't forget you know they're replacing half the track it pretty much over half the track already so you know it, it, how long will it be before it gets replaced? How long will it be? Will it take another few years if it keeps having maintenance problems? We don't know. But I think there's one more step they can take, and that is replacing the rest of the top of the track with just iBox. And if that doesn't work, bye bye. Or maybe they have, have an extra step where you take out the launch lift hill um, and you replace it with a li normal lift hill. If that doesn't work, then it's definitely bye bye. Um, so Lightning Rod has got its, it's had its issues since it opened, but it's going to be interesting now to see, especially with the ride being uh, five years old next year. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with the ride now with these added changes. You know, is it going to help the ride? Is it going to solve the reliability issues, the maintenance issues, the maintenance costs? You know, all these different things. Is it going to help? And it's going to have to be a question answered when people ride it next year. Um, so overall then, good work with Mystery Mine and fantastic work with Lightning Rod. If this doesn't work and they've got no other option, you know, is this the end for Lightning Rod? You know, is it, you know, in the next few years, is it only going to be a 10-year roller coaster? Is this going to be it for Lightning Rod? Um, so it should be an interesting scenario. And to be fair, I think they could do better than an unreliable coaster in my opinion so um it's going to be interesting we'll see what happens with the changes obviously there's a lot of work being done as we speak uh, on site we knew rmc crews were there recent in recent weeks and you know making these changes and spotting these track sections as well to replace them so you know a lot of work's been done already and they're going to keep continuing that work over the winter period so there we go so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.